Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose and in this video I will be sharing my Google interview experience. So in the first part I will be explaining the hiring process, then I will go through how to prepare and finally I will let you know how to explain or solve any problem. Before moving on I would like to thank my Take Dose community from where I have learned a lot through your critical feedbacks. So I wish that we will keep learning and keep growing forever together. Let us now look at the hiring process. The typical hiring process initially requires a referral from an employee in Google. I was uh, referred by an HR who had contacted me to appear for Google interview. Now once you are referred, you will be scheduled with an interview and generally the first round is a screening round which is also a face to face coding round. In my case it was a face to face coding round. If you do good in the first round then uh, you will be scheduled with on site rounds. Currently uh, they are all virtual. So I was giving four coding rounds face to face and all these were on different days. I mean you can be uh, having multiple coding rounds on the same days as well. But in my case it was on four different days and this was also on a different day obviously. And a googliness round was combined with one of the coding round. It was just a follow up of some coding round. So there were a total of six rounds you can say and after this your case will be presented to an hiring committee and uh, once you get a nod from the hiring committee or maybe side by side you will also get team fit calls where you will be having some meets with the managers with the team leads and where you will be choosing a team and the manager will also be choosing the candidate and whenever there is a match when the manager likes you or the team lead likes you and you also like the team then you will probably be hired into that team but you should remember that even though you might have a good case and uh, your case was presented to the hiring committee still you may get selected or you may get rejected okay it is not uh, confirmed that if you are doing good in the coding rounds you will be hired there are multiple things which are also uh, taken into account like code quality and not just coding part and how you explain is also pretty important how you understand the code, how you test the code, how you write the test cases, all these things are very important and not just if you can just arrive to a solution. Okay. So how you share the ideas are also very important. These are actually uh, taken into account because you will be working in a team and you will not be working alone. Okay. So all these qualities matters. Now how to prepare. Now in order to prepare, uh, you should be doing lead code and by lead code I mean that medium and hard questions so most probably you will be getting a lead code hard question uh, which will be of six marks I mean you can see that on lead code there are two types of hard questions six marks and seven marks seven marks are much harder than the six marks hard question generally you should do all the six marks hard question and sometimes a seven marks can come but that will not be from a from any weird type of algorithm okay if you get a medium question you will get multiple hard follow-ups for it okay so when you get a question it doesn't mean that uh, you will be solving it throughout the allotted time so in my case it was 15 minutes per interview and uh, if you can arrive to an approach uh, then you will be asked about some optimal approach after it and once you arrive to the optimal approach when the interviewer is uh, satisfied with it then you will be asked to implement it so do the implementation fast don't consume a lot of time in this then they will ask you to write the test cases and test all the boundary cases test the general cases and you should write a proper set of test cases okay once that is done then you will be asked some follow-up questions so you should be prepared for that and there may be one or multiple follow-up questions so don't assume that by just implementing and uh, discussing the time and space complexity your interview is done no you should try to do as fast as possible okay that is the policy in google second thing is uh, you should read uh, recent interview experiences so that you can get an idea about how the questions are coming and also if you are short on time you can consider joining our dsa interview prep live course which is a three months guaranteed preparation course you can join there and we will guarantee that you get the entire understanding about appearing for any top mncs now how to explain any problem whichever comes into your interview that means I am talking about just a single round all the DSA rounds are very similar so you have to take the same approach. The first thing is you should know the policy of Google that Google prefers to have the fastest solution possible whatever you know is the fastest solution you should implement that. 
and the implementation should be done within the minimum possible time so that there is still time left for you to have some follow up questions and some more discussion in the interview right so you should not be slow it is a little different from other companies where you should start with the brute force consume time and you should also show that you do not know the answer and then you are thinking it real time but in this case it is uh, it is not the same okay now while implementing you should not just code it but you should maintain a good code quality and by good code quality i mean proper naming of variables and functions you should write a well structured object oriented modular code and i personally prefer good indentation in the code which looks pleasing to eyes now having followed all these i mean this should be followed in all the coding rounds some of my tips will be listen to the problem well and understand in minimum possible time don't take too long to understand the problem if you are a little bit confused about the problem then you can reiterate the problem to the interviewer give your own test case and give your answer and then the interviewer will verify if you are thinking in the right direction or if you have not got the question okay so this thing is also pretty important so when i say in minimum possible time don't just jump to the solution without understanding the problem okay so you should be 100% sure about the problem then only you should jump to the solution now once the question is clear you should explain whatever approach comes to your mind generally you should move from the brute force to the optimal approach so whenever you explain the brute force it will hardly take 30 seconds to 1 minute to explain the brute force approach and then the interviewer will ask you about if you can optimize it and then you uh, talk about the optimal approach and when the interviewer is satisfied with your solution with your optimal idea then he will ask you to actually implement it so you should implement keeping these two points in mind okay and while implementing that means while coding keep speaking about whatever you are doing so every line you type every variable you take you keep speaking about why you have taken such a variable and what will be done and how you are flowing in your entire algorithm you can first give a high level overview about what you will be doing it will hardly take 20 to 30 seconds to give you uh, to give a high level overview then you start coding each part and you keep explaining every line while you type okay so this is very important and this is also known as thinking out loud as you might have uh, read everywhere what is thinking out loud okay so if this is followed properly and you have a good practice and you are familiar with the problem then actually uh, you will be pretty confident about it so i hope this video gave a proper insight into the google interview experience if you have any question then you can comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible i will wish you good luck for your upcoming interviews and i wish that you also gets uh, placed at google someday if you want to get my personal guidance and prepare live then you can consider joining the dsa interview prep course share this video with your friends whoever are going to appear for these interviews if you like this video then please hit the like button and share this video with those whoever needs it see you guys in the next video thank you